Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going to be taking you through my experiences with a website called My Velo Fit. This is a website that helps you get a better bike fit using AI and magic. So just to be upfront, I paid $35, which is the normal price for this. So if it's rubbish, I can tell you. So it's pretty simple. All you do is you film yourself riding on the indoor trainer. You then upload this to their website and they give you some recommendations on how to improve your bike fit. So the reason I wanted to try this is because I've never had a proper bike fit myself. I don't have any problems when riding. I don't get pain or anything like that. So for me, it's just about checking I don't have anything wrong with my bike fit. There's no real big glaring obvious errors with it. So for me, this is more of a curiosity exercise and just preventing any problems in the future. First part of this is a flexibility test. The app asks you to record two videos which test your upper body and lower body mobility. You can use any camera to record this, such as your phone or even your laptop's webcam. So these are my results. I am pretty average in most of them. I have limited leg extension, but Apart from that, it's pretty normal. I'm clearly not the most flexible guy, but I also don't have any major problems either. So like I said, pretty average. I've been trying to fit in some yoga, but clearly the results aren't showing yet. Right, onto the bike fit itself. I set up the indoor trainer as I normally would, but made sure to have the camera lined up properly. It says to ride at a steady pace, so not too hard, not too easy. So once you finish this ride, get your file off your camera and then upload it. So these are my results. Generally okay. Not bad considering I've never had anyone check my bike fit before. This was just done based purely on feel. However, it did suggest to get a slightly shorter stem going from 100 millimeters to 90 millimeters. So off to the internet I went. A Couple of days later, I have my new stem. So I swapped the stem, got back on the trainer and re-uploaded a new video. So this time, as expected, everything was in range. So I was pretty happy with this. So I decided to test the stem for a couple of weeks outside. And to be honest, after riding with this new fit for a while, I really cannot feel any difference. I don't know if it's made any difference at all, but the app said it's a bit better. So who am I to argue with that? So I decided to stick with the new stem rather than swapping back. That's literally because I'm too lazy to change it back. So overall, my feelings on my VeloFit are pretty mixed. It definitely does what it says on the tin. For me personally, I don't think it was really worth the money because my bike fit was already quite good, but I'm definitely happy with the new peace of mind I have that there's nothing wrong with my bike fit. So for the $35, I think that's okay. For the price, it's a lot cheaper than getting a real bike fit. If I went to get a real bike fit and they told me just to change my stem by 10 millimeters, I would have felt a bit ripped off, but because it's only $35, I think it's fine. I'm sure a real bike fit would go into a lot more detail as well, so I don't think it's fair to directly compare them like that. I think my Velo fit would be a lot better for people who are experiencing pain, for example. So for those sort of people, $35 for a chance to potentially fix that would definitely be worth it. And if it does solve any issues you're having, then for $35, I think it's a good investment. If you have multiple bikes and you want to get them all fitting the same, you have to pay a bit more. But if you pay more, you also get unlimited bike fittings for a year. With the $35 ones, you only get two weeks of fittings on one bike, which is a bit of a shame, but I guess they have to make money somehow. Anyway, if you guys want to try it out, I can offer you a 0% discount. All you need to do is click on the link in the bio. All right, that's it from me. I will see you in the next one. Peace out. Wait, no, remember to subscribe.